At first I was shocked. I didn't really know what to think. He was taken away to jail, accused of rape. He said he didn't do it, but no one was ready to believe him until now. New at 6, Channel 11's Jodin Costanzo on the surprise turn of events that set him free and has his accuser now facing charges. Jodine. Well, Peggy, Matt Foligno always said he was innocent. In fact, the day he was accused of rape, he was actually home with his parents. Charges have now been dropped, but he told me today that damage is done. What should have been done in the first place was actually done. Matt Foligno and his defense attorney, Bill Diffenderfer, sum up his life the past nine months like this. Sure, help. Last June, the Cannonsburg man was charged with raping 17-year-old Caitlin Webster of Venetia in the parking lot of the South Park wave pool. She told police Foligno put his hands around her neck to hold her down, and there were marks on her neck. Foligno spent four days in jail, was on house arrest, and despite no deal, DNA evidence, Webster was so convincing the case was headed for trial. I have never seen uh, such a fabric fabrication as this and such a, in my opinion, sick thing to do. Just weeks before the trial, two of Webster's friends came forward and said Webster was not at the wave pool that day. She was at a dance club and spent the night at another guy's house. The marks on her neck were sucker bites from that guy. Webster admitted she lied about Felino, who she had gone on a few dates with, so she wouldn't get in trouble for having sucker bites. Get out of trouble with my dad, so let a kid go to jail for five to ten years. Charges were dropped against Felino Webster. Now faces perjury charges. This isn't no little white lie. Like this is complete, like disregard for somebody's well-being, somebody's life. This case does say when it's his word against her word, you have to pause and you need more. And this case has cost the Felinos more than $20,000 in legal fees, not to mention the damage to Matt's reputation. The family is considering filing a civil suit against Webster. Reporting live, Jodine Costanzo, Channel 11 News.